I started learning English um, at the age of 10, uh, but before that I was actually intrigued by seeing someone who spoke a different language from my own language. And I always wondered at the time how I could speak a different language and probably, you know, be uh, a fluent speaker. And that's how my journey of learning English language started. And um, so, obviously, when I started, it was very different, you know, the way I was taught English. It was very much, you know, translation, you know, grammar translation. Um, but as the time passed, I started um, realizing that there is something I could uh, actually do with that language. And so I was really motivated to find different ways of learning English, not just being dependent upon uh, the classroom teaching at school. So um, I think when I was uh, about 13, I, my grandfather bought a radio. <laughs> And um, because it was very rare to have radio in homes um, back in the 1980s, well, yeah, I think 80s in, in my village. So when I had a radio, um, I just played with it, you know, trying to tune into different channels. And um, accidentally, I found the BBC World Service. And though I didn't understand much, or probably very little, I um, pretended to understand the language and kept listening. And um, after a couple of years, they, uh, I found that they ran English language learning programs. And I started listening to certain programs. And that's how you know, I became more and more motivated to learn English. And also, I felt, I mean, I, I, I had a dream <laughs> to go somewhere uh, where the language was spoken. Um, and also I was very open to, you know, making any mistakes. I, I, I didn't, um, you know, feel, I, I wasn't afraid of making mistakes. I was very willing to make any mistakes and read anything I found, which was very rare in the village, but like even, you know, uh, medicine levels. Uh, which was not the best thing to read at the time, but um, anything I found in English, I just read. And um, I always read aloud so that other people could hear me. Not that they understood, but just I felt uh, good about that. It was amazing that um, towards the end of my school years, I, I, I did really well in English language. And because I wanted to do something with English language, I continued studying English at university. Some people suggested, well, some, some, some of my relatives, that I should be a teacher. Um, so I had to choose a subject and I chose English as my subject. And I, I, I never got frustrated or bored or um, you know, um, losing, uh, never lost motivation with learning English. And I, when I look back, I, I do feel really um, satisfied how long way I have come, especially from a very, you know, a context where English is spoken as a foreign language and to a context where English is the language <laughs> for everything here in the UK. Um, so, although I initially started learning English um, more for, you know, pleasure or satisfaction, um, later I realized that it could be instrumental. I mean, my, I was motivated to learn it as a tool for my uh, own prosperity or to develop myself professionally and also, of course, because I wanted to be a teacher, so it was uh, for being a teacher, um, English language teacher, because there was a huge demand of English language teachers at the time. And also, as a result of you know, moving into that profession as an English language teacher, uh, I was able to um, go to the country or come to the country <laughs> where I wanted to be in um, as part of, I mean, as my dream when I was a 10-year-old.